So the first thing that's always good is reflection. So now that it's basically March, a good thing to do is reflect on what's happened the last two months, right? Are the goals that you set for yourself, give it be financial goals, career goals, physical goals, mental goals, nutrition goals, are you still going at those goals hard, right? Because in the beginning of the year, we start really hard and then we kind of slowly taper off. So take a look back at the last couple months and see if you're actually still working on those goals. Because like I said, they tend to taper off the ones that aren't as important as, as others. They kind of slowly fall away and you don't really focus on them too much. But it's always a good thing to maybe check yourself every quarter. Like, you know, when you think of finances, there's usually quarterly reports that, that companies give off, hospitals give off quarterly reports. Uh, usually there's quarterly assignments for units. You usually look at what happened this quarter and a quarter is what, four months? Is that four months or three months? Sorry, three months. And that's like a good point to kind of pause and just reflect on, hey, am I where I thought I was going to be? Am I still on track? So March is a really good time to, to do that, to figure out, hey, the last couple, couple months, have they been working out? Have they been not? Do I have to switch something up? Is maybe goal B more important now than, than goal A. So it's always really good to reflect. Just look at how you've changed already in these, in these couple months compared to how you were in 2023. Just see how things are going. Has anything changed? Has your mindset changed? And it's okay to, to change goals to maybe prioritize other things because it's all subjective. Some people might be really pushing financial goals. Maybe they want to buy like an investment property. Some people might want to have like these crazy fitness goals where they want to gain like 15 pounds or lose 15 pounds of fat or hit their fat percentage of 4% or 5% or whatever. And lots of times those goals that other people tell us about always sound like a good idea to us. And it's almost like you want to hop on the bandwagon. You're having some FOMO of other person's goals. So you kind of, kind of want to, I want to say, get rid of that because even though comparison is bad, it is still good at times because you need something to compare, compare yourself to as like the standard in a way, right? If there is no, you can say gold standard, then what are you kind of achieving for or like your standards? Things like that. So even though people say, you know, you don't want to compare, you don't want to compare, but sometimes you do want to compare and you have to also realize that are you comparing yourself in a negative way or a positive way? And is this something that you really want to do? Because I'm sure a lot of you are like me where a lot of times I have major FOMO. When I look at, for example, my Robinhood account that I did invest in this stock, even though I should have, you get that FOMO you want to invest, but you're like, hey, you know, is it going to go any higher? Things like that. Same with, with like in, in, in the gym. Like you have your gym goals. Like, hey, I want to be able to bench 225 or I want to be able to deadlift 225 or 315 and somebody else is working on trying to lo lose weight. And you're like, damn, you know, maybe I should lose weight too. So even though that that is good in a, in a sense you have to be careful because you have your own goals and you don't want to jump in on someone else's goals because ultimately... Your goals are the ones that you want to actually accomplish. This other goal that people introduce into your life or that sounds like a good idea, you're not going to be as motivated to, to hit that because it sounds a good idea now in the short term, but in the long term, it's not really something that you really wanted to go for. So it's always really good to reflect. That's the first point I wanted to make is, is reflect on these last couple of months. Reflect every three to four months about where have you come? How far ha have you come? Is this still a priority? Things like that. Just reflect and always try to make yourself just a little bit better, I would say overall. Sometimes you have those really rough months where you're like, damn, you know, nothing has been working out for me. And those can be discouraging. But remember, even though, let's just say you're at a loss somehow, you're still learning. So you know where you fucked up. You know where you messed up on. You know that you don't want to keep doing that. For example, like, let's just say you're trying to meet a girl, right? Like you're trying to... If you go out more, you're trying to uh, make some more connections with with the opposite sex. So in my case, you like it'd be women, for example, and you find yourself watching a lot of porn, you know, watching a lot of porn, never a good thing, but maybe you were doing good in the first couple months of the year and now, hey, 
these last couple of weeks, you haven't been really have any motivation. You've been watching a lot of porn, things like that. You know, even though technically you are at a loss because you've been you've been missing out, and you know you've you've just not been doing things the right way. Now you know kind of what caused that. Did you start watching porn because maybe you just didn't have a lot of success in the field, things like that. So it's always good to kind of reflect and just think about what got you here. If you're in a good place, great. What got you to that good place and how can you maximize it and how can you build that continuum of being on the right track? And if you're not in a bad place, well, guess what? It sucks. Yeah, it's rough. You don't want to, you're not where you want to be, but now you know how you got into this position. And if you don't, that's okay. This is where, like I said, keep reflecting and you're going to find out, hey, did I put myself in this position? What did I do to put myself in this position? What did I do? I did wrong. And now let's kind of get out of this situation and stop playing the victim and kind of just, just move on.